week, buddy. What are you doing? Are you gonna sabotage my video again, Willy? Dirty bastard. Anyway. I got two knives. Two new knives, I might add. The K-Bar, USMC full-size. And the Strong Arm by Gerber. Now, I'm not going to do a full review on, on both of them. I just want to do a, a quick comparison. But first, I would like to give a, uh, a shout-out to uh, Bronze Snake here. Um, thanks for your comment, buddy. And uh, great minds think alike. Um, I just wanted to show you that cross. I don't know if this is the cross you were talking about that's in my background. But, uh, I just wanted to show you since we both have something in common. We're both brothers in the Lord. Okay. This one I got a few years ago. It's a wooden cross. It's obviously stained, lacquered. Uh, it's pretty cool, man. It's got... The, uh, the rays, the beginning of a new day when Jesus is born on this uh, side of the arm. You got his uh, baptism. See the Holy Spirit descending like a dove. Uh, Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. Jesus praying in the Garden of Gethsemane. And his crucifixion. And, the, re and I, the resurrection, the rolling away of the tomb. And uh, I, I think these are like the rays from the, the angels when they were there. But it's very detailed. I love this thing. It's, it's the most beautiful cross I've ever owned. Anyway, back to the knives. So, um, okay, the K-Bar. I bought this one. Through AdventureGear.ca, um, Amazon has this Gerber for 99 Canadian. I'm I'm Cana I live in Canada. I live in in uh, the the shittiest city in the entire world, Winnipeg. So uh, there's a Cabela's here, and I bought this knife at Cabela's for 99 dollars. Amazon has it for 99 Canadian as well, but I just canceled my Prime. And the funny thing is. They actually gave me, they reimbursed me for all the months that that I didn't use my Prime. It was awesome. I thought I was going to get back like, I don't know, like 16 bucks or 12 bucks, something like that. And they ended up giving me almost $70 back. I thought that was a solid move on uh, the guy who I talked to. I, I forgot his name. I wish I knew it. Uh, otherwise, I mean, pretty solid thing for him to do is to give me back all the money from all the months I didn't use Prime. But I have used it a lot. But I digress. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, like I said, I was I got this thing at the uh, Cabela's because I don't have the Prime anymore. So I'd have to pay for the shipping. So I basically saved um, with taxes on Amazon and the shipping. It would come out to uh, if I would have it like two days, two day shipping. It would be like um, one twenty one or one twenty eight. I think I think it was one twenty one. Anyway, but it was over one hundred twenty bucks either way. Um, I so I went to Cabela's and saved me the money on the shipping and uh, and the availability, uh, the speed of of getting it this the same day, right? So I saved quite a bit. Um. It's a very comfortable knife. I'm not going to do a review. All I can tell you is that the blade is 420. Um, this is a good, maybe, it's a good, like, uh, for whittling sticks, opening packages, work-related stuff. Um, definitely beats a folder in all those areas. Um, camping, uh, yeah, I know uh, people can say it's a really good knife that I, I have seen some idiots baton with it I don't know why you would baton a fucking five inch knife. It is beyond me okay when you're surrounded by wood in a forest you, you have this need to to risk the only knife you have risk breaking it batoning a piece of wood in the summertime in the dry heat 
Right. The only time I bit Tom Wood if it, if it was raining. That's it. And if that. And if I had another knife, too, because I'm not going to risk breaking my knife. I'm pretty hard with my knives. Um. Anyway, I just, this knife, I, I just don't, it's too small. I mean, the camera's a liar. It makes it look big. It's not big. It's like a four, almost a five inch knife. Um, it just, and it's 420 HC. Can you believe that? I paid 106 bucks for my K bar, seven inches of 1095 chromium vanadium steel. And Gerber wants to charge motherfuckers. Uh, 90, actually, the black one at Cabell's is $114. Can you believe that? And I don't even want to talk about the price for the LMF and the, the other freaky knife. But anyway, um, I love the handle. The handle's cool. But the blade is just too small. And in a self-defense scenario, I just... I just... I feel like if I pull this out, they're going to just start laughing at me. Because it, it's small. Like... Yeah, I could do a lot of tasks, but when it comes to downright your life on the line, some crackhead or some junkie, some fucking drug addict that's trying to rob you, would you really depend on this knife? I don't know. I don't know, man. I I, I feel better carrying this knife, a K-bar, a full-length fucking seven-inch knife. One stab with this pup, bad boy, and someone's going to die, okay? This thing, you have to keep contact, constant close quarter, like really close quarter. Like ha you gotta hug the guy to get to him with this thing. The other one, you can, you have some reach. But um, I just, I don't know, man. I mean, it is a nice knife. I just don't feel comfortable carrying it to rely on it as my self defense. Uh, so in that case, I might just make this my little beater knife in the woods, maybe even practice knife throwing or something, but, uh, I, it's just too small. I, I, uh, fuck, man, I'm getting old, man. I'm not young anymore. I'm not, uh, <sighs> my back is fucked from doing years of construction and, um, I, I, most fights over 75 to 80% of them end up on the ground. I don't have time to roll around and, and 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 play games, man. So I just want to be done as quick as possible. Therefore, K bar still stands a test of time. So I just wanted to make a quick video on that, and I mean, don't let that discourage you. I mean, it's still a good knife. You could shave a pencil and open ladders with it but uh yeah so there's my video guys so uh enjoy have a good day and uh i'll see you in my next video peace